This is a video response series to two challenges. I am combining them. One, hashtag Dravember, a month-long drawing challenge created by Design by Lewis. And two, 30 sketches in 30 days, a drawing challenge from Gina Ahrens to do a sketch a day in November, inspired by the Art Before Breakfast book by Danny Gregory. Links to all above in the description box below. Last June, Gina Ahrens had a 30 in 30 challenge. I found this photo box at a thrift store, and that is where I put my 30 in 30. Well, I did mine on index cards, as you can see here. I did them in portrait and landscape. And I did not get all the 30 finished. I think I got to... I think I got 27 or 28 of them finished. I can't remember. I'd have to count them. But here they are in here. So I have some pages left here. And there is a draw vember challenge going on. And of course I get... Part of the reason I don't get these finished is because I don't get hunt on them until the second or third day. And this would already be November 3rd, so I have three to catch up on. But I thought that when I go out urban sketching, I use my wipe-off paper to clean my brushes off on. And here they are. And I, well, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with it? I just didn't want to waste all my beautiful color on my brush. Well, what I'm going to do... I'm going to tear these out, and I'm going to cut them up into size three and a half by five and a half. I think will fit in there. Let's try one. A stack of three and a half by five and a half. I've only got 24 here. I have some more out in the car, but I'll have to go out and get them for the last six. I also have some of these little strips left over. Look, they're kind of pretty. They got little blotches of watercolor on them, and then the ends of the pages here. I'm not tossing these. These will make nice collage elements, maybe little tags. Could I make a tag out of that? I think I could. That might make an interesting tag. Mini tags. We'll see. I think I'll start out by drawing this. It's got water in it, so I don't want to tip it too much, but I've always liked this. This is what I use for my paint brushes and, and my little water jar in my studio. Kind of like a little cut glass creamer pitcher container. So I think I will draw that for day one.
Penelope, my little pincushion doll studio mascot, said she'd pose for me. So I'm going to put her right here. I'm going to still use my pen and ink. I'm not using pencils for these because I am working on a color background and I want something to stand out. I'm still drawing. I'm just drawing with ink. So I am going to do a quick sketch here of Penelope. day three I decided to draw some washi tapes now when you're looking at them because my camera is coming from top down you're going to see a different view than I am you're going to see it more from a top down view you're going to see those big center circles I'm going to see it from a side view like this so just to let you know even though you're looking at it from a different angle, I'm looking at it from this way. So, and I chose a different paper here. I chose some paper where I swiped with my brush here because I like these stripes for the washi tape. So that's, and I'm going to use my food ball pen. Now this is kind of like a white cloth tape, a medical tape. This is a musical tape. This is striped and this is polka dotted red back here. So I'm going to start over here with the white tape. done. Day one, day two, and day three. I'm pretty happy with them. I will see you on the next page.